I'm a beautiful MK Love Fam and welcome back to another episode of Weekly Angel Guidance. And if you're brand new, my name is Mel. I make videos every single Sunday or Monday, depending on where you are in the world. Now in today's video, I'm gonna be going through three different aspects. The first one is I'm gonna be telling you about the phases of the moon. This is all linked with this week, which is August the 19th to the 25th. Then I'm gonna tell you about some astrological influences that could help you out. And then I'm going to be doing a general tarot reading for all signs of the zodiac, going through the focus card for the week and then each day specifically. So without further ado, let's get started. So from Monday to Wednesday, we are going to be in the disseminating moon. This is a really, really beautiful time. This is all about receiving. So now let me show you your affirmation. You can just read it just over here. It says, I'm so happy and grateful for all the blessings in my life. I give and receive abundance from a place of love. Then from Thursday to Sunday, we have the waning half moon. And your affirmation for this time is, I'm so happy and grateful for everything I have achieved this month. It's been a lot of work and I know that my future self will thank me for it. I breathe with ease and finish off any outstanding tasks. So that is from Thursday to Sunday. Now, in regards to the astrological influences this week, check on the screen right now. We've got five planets in retrograde. We've got Pluto, we've got Saturn, Neptune, Chiron, and Uranus. Now, there is a lot that's been happening. The newest one is Uranus retrograde, which happened on August the 11th and is here until January the 10th. Let me just read you a little bit about that one. And if you are new to the fam, then just screenshot and have a read through the rest of the other for yourself. So this is a time of positive major change within your love life and your finances. This renewed internal perspective will help to raise your vibration so that you can come a vibrational match to everything that you desire. We've been feeling some really heavy energy, lots of heavy energy, which actually started in April, we had a lot of issues around our relationships, both platonic and romantic. That bit has ended and now we're making room for our dream life. Last week, if you caught Weekly Angel Guidance, it was all about harnessing the spirit. You know that beautiful song Spirit from Beyonce, which is in the movie um, The Lion King. You know, it's like your destiny is coming. You have to stand up and fight for it. So I'm assuming that, you know, you released everything last week. And now it's time for you to give back and to receive that beautiful abundance and also to know that, you know, you just need to just breathe with ease and everything's going to take care of itself. But as the moon is waning, this is also a perfect time to release. If you didn't release during the full moon, you still have time. If you need help on the end card, you can check out my full moon ritual and I show you exactly what I do to release my blockages or release my wishes. It's however it looks truly best for you. Anyways, let's get on to the reading. So if you're new to the fam, make sure you hit subscribe, <laughs> become an MK Love fam. And um, this is actually the Shadowscapes tarot that I use in all of my videos. It's my favorite deck currently as I'm awaiting Chris Ann's latest deck, which looks amazing. It's so different to this one. Um, I just haven't found, yeah, it just hasn't been the right time to begin using that deck just yet. There's a lot of movement going on. Um, okay, so this is for all signs of the zodiac. Let's see what we need to know for our focus for the week. And let's see what that is. Wow. Oh, this came up last week too. Okay, so we have the Five of Swords. Interesting because last week we had the Five of Cups as the focus card, but this week we have the Five of Swords. So this is about choosing to make your decisions from a place of love and not fear. As you can see, he's a beautiful angel, the beautiful white wings behind him, but he also has his sword ready. So it's like he's not gonna be dealing with contrast um, or if it does come up to contrast, if that comes up, he knows how to handle himself. But he's also being swayed by two of these birds. These are like black swans, um, you know, and they're both holding swords as well. But I always interpret this card as like knowing that there is contrast around you, but knowing that you always have the opportunity to make a decision from a place of love. That's the way I'm going to take it. But maybe I'll get further clarity as we go through the rest of the cards. All right, let's see what we need to know for Monday. 
there we go. It f Ooh, okay, the tower. Okay, this could be the Uranus retrograde coming in because that's like, it's a time of positive change, but it also could be quite unexpected. The tower card is a major arcana. This is a major turning point. The tower represents your foundations in life, whether this is, um, I don't feel like this is a bad thing from everything that I've read with the astrology. I don't feel like it is bad. Yes, you kind of may have been anticipating for this change for a while. Maybe this is a week that things actually start to change. The tower is the foundations of your life, whether your relationships, your finances, your place of living, your career, whatever that is, something is shifting. Maybe you're getting news that things are happening. Uranus is, it can be very unexpected, but in terms of everything else that is going on, it is preparing you for the next 20 to 30 years. We've kind of been going through 2019 to me is like finding stability, finding stability, however this looks like for you so that you can have the foundation set so that you can build on solid foundation instead of sinking sand. That's the direction in which I'm taking it. This is good. I feel like most of you know what this is, whatever this is going to be for your life. But maybe this is a long time coming. I don't feel like it's unexpected because I kind of feel like you've been doing the internal work for a very long time. And now you're kind of being like, you know, your destiny is calling. That's what last week's focus song, the anthem was. Your destiny is calling, stand up and fight. Fight for you. Like really, are you truly fighting for you or are you doing what you think is the right thing to do to please other people? I want you to stand up and fight for you. Wow, that was Monday. <laughs> You're welcome. So we need to know for Tuesday. Ooh. Okay. Ooh, okay, so Tuesday actually is the Three of Cups. This is beautiful. The Cups is emotions, but Three is like teamwork, working together with other people. The foundations have crumbled, however this looks like for you, but now you're asking for help. People are helping you as you transition into this new area. Maybe if you're not good, if you've got a throat chakra blockage, um, you need to sing. <laughs> That's the best way to heal the throat chakra blockage. But also you need to ask for help. If things are not going good, you need to ask for help. Maybe if you've lost your job or if you're in the interim between you just quit it and then you're about to start something new, you ask someone that can help you out. Um, this could be, oh, there's so many different ways to read this. It really depends on what this looks like for you. I'm just going to leave it at that and keep going. There was a other four, five cards, but I don't think we need them. Ah, oh, they're telling me I need, no, no, that's it. That wasn't part of them. All right, let's see Wednesday. So this is disseminating moon. Oh, in terms of the giving and the receiving for the disseminating moon, maybe you're helping someone else that you know is struggling. Always, I always think about like the times in which th things really were difficult for me. Who was around during those times? You know, you can tell a real friend when, you know, the going gets tough and who is around to help you and who supports you no matter what, who's rooting for you no matter where you are on your journey, whether you're broke or whether you're like, a millionaire and you've got amazing investment properties that you're looking into whatever it is give back that giving back is going to help things manifest tenfold you know it's like when you hear about someone who's like down to their last six dollars in their bank account and they see someone else who is in a worse off situation to them and they just give it to them that giving you know because everything is like the circle of life everything goes around but it's karma. Don't give things to get something back. But do you, if you feel the need to give to somebody or to ask for help, however this looks, do it from a place of love and not fear. That's basically what I'm trying to say for Monday and Tuesday. So let's see. Whoa, whoa. Wednesday is crazy. Ah, oh, Wednesday is the Four of Cups. Interesting. Last week we had the Five of Cups. The Four of Cups is kind of like, reminds me of the song from Mulan, When Will My Reflection Change? It's like, Stop the pity party. You know, I thought we addressed this last week. Maybe some of you haven't. Maybe these changes are scaring the bejeebus out of you. Like you knew that they were coming, but now they're coming. You're like, yeah, like, okay. Oh, I really have to step up to the plate. This is like waiting on the world to change. I think this, oh, it really depends how you look at it, but it's also, she could be reflecting back and being like, oh my gosh, I've received so much abundance. I kind of feel like it is a pity party though because as these changes happen, you're kind of like, ah, oh, did I make the right decision? I don't know, because you know, what's that planet 
um, is it Pluto? No. Saturn, which is the one about the decisions? Yeah, Saturn retrogrades, the law to karma. Lessons relate to your thoughts and words. A difficult time for making important decisions due to negative thoughts and indecision. Well, that's only really here for the next month. So you're kind of like, oh, I don't know. Did you make it from a place of love? If you did, then everything's gonna work out. You know, if you didn't, then there's still another lesson you need to learn. All right, let's see what we need to know for Thursday. This is going into the last quarter of the moon. Breathing with ease. Let's see what we need to know for Thursday. Oh, oh, okay. I thought it was the first card. We'll see if we need to pull the rest of them. Oh, okay, the two of cups. We're having a lot to do with like partnerships and working with other people. The last quarter, I'm so happy and grateful for everything I have achieved this month. It's been a lot of work and I know my future self will thank me for it. I breathe with ease and finish off any outstanding tasks. To me, the two of cups is about the yin and the yang. It's about a partnership. It's about, oh, I see the Pisces sign underneath her, but that's like love. It's like making a decision from a place of love. Maybe there's other people that you had to incorporate into your decisions, but I kind of, I don't know. Let me just figure the rest of it out. Okay. And then we've got the seven of pentacles, which to me represents dreaming big, dreaming so big, thinking about the dream life. What do you want and segmenting backwards and now you're breathing with ease because it's like you've really you dreamed big you dreamed big oh and as i said that there was two crows that just flew into this tree just behind me what is the symbolism of crows so what do i i'm trying to figure this out the waning moon the last quarter Two of Cups, I just, I just feel partnership, balance, and dreaming big. How does that fit in with this? Making decision from a place of love? I don't know, let me pull Thursday and Friday and then maybe I'll be able to blend it all together. All right, Friday. Let me just see how I'm going for time. Oh, got nine minutes to go. Whoa, okay, I'm gonna get this one that came right near me. Okay, so the five of wands. So there's a lot of contrast that's gonna be happening. This is interesting because this came up last week. You know, as the foundations crumble on Monday or whenever this is for you, as things change, people aren't going to like it. Most likely this is your family, aren't gonna like when things change. But to me, you're kind of like dealing with all of these like hiccups as they come, but doing it with like a smile on your face. You know, you've put the boundaries in place with people around you. You're now making a decision from a place of love. You're asking for help. And I feel like that you're an unstoppable force. I feel like these contrasts or these blockages that are coming up, like maybe you get the all clear to move into a house, but then at the last minute, they're like, oh, we just need one more day. Just think of that as a blessing. It could be a divine intervention. You don't know what it is. However that looks, maybe if you're like, you've just left one house and you're about to move to the next one and you're like, oh my gosh, where am I gonna sleep tonight? Book yourself a lovely Airbnb. You know, maybe you'll meet someone at that Airbnb that's gonna give you that, that key that opens the door to the next chapter. You don't know. So just take this as, as a good thing and make this a decision, make every decision from a place of love. I think I just keep going back to that. Saturday, oh, the high priestess, trusting your intuition. She, the high priestess basically uses the phases of the moon. You know, as the moon is waxing, she's starting to become more illuminated and as it's waning, she's drawing in. Think of the moon if it's like really, really bright in the sky, it's a time where you should be like bang, 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 bang. As the moon is waning, you're starting to draw into yourself. This is a time where you're starting to nurture yourself a little bit more. We're getting pretty close to the balsamic moon, which will happen next week, but you're drawing more into yourself into yourself as in drawing into your intuition. Spend some time alone on Saturday. And let's see what we need to know for Sunday. Saturday. There it is. I love how they just fly out. Ooh, okay, the Empress, ooh, lovely. The Empress is the nurturing mother. It's a sign of fertility. It's a sign of 
birth. It's a sign of like nurturing yourself. And like, as you can see down the bottom of this card, there has been like in the background, it's, it's, um, I heard the word desolate. I don't know if that is, if that's right. It, there's, it's very barren, it's very dry, but in front of her, there's all of these beautiful roses that have bloomed and she's got a beautiful basket full of butterflies, which is the sign of transformation and sign of growth. And she's very free and it's a circle. It's like you're going through a circle. One chapter had to end and then you begin the new one. And I don't know, I kind of feel like Thursday is kind of an interesting one. Why do I not feel like I did a good job with Thursday? Like the first part of the week, yeah, I can understand. Tower is ending, you're asking for help. You're kind of like, oh my God, what the flip is happening? And then come Thursday with the last quarter, it's kind of like, I don't know, it's a bit, it's a bit more blissful. It's like trying to find the balance, but it's also like, dreaming big like as you're now reflecting on everything that has happened you're now like okay how could i make this better there's contrast that's going to come up you're needing to to starting to draw into yourself in this part of the moon you're starting to i don't know meditate more the high priestess is like intuition and i also see the owl here which is the wisdom tune into that inner wisdom spend time I don't know if you can just look at the stars. My brother said to me when I left Australia, he said to me, it's like, Mel, never forget the stars. And every time he says that, it always makes me so emotional because to me, that means like, never forget the stars. The stars will always come out every single night, no matter what you, what's been going through in your life, look up and you'll just see like, there's this massive galaxy around you and that all your problems are so small and everything that you're going through is just a little, a little chapter in your life. That chapter you're on now isn't going to be the last chapter. You know, there is so much more to give. And yeah, never forget the stars. I kind of feel like that, that fits well. Like don't never forget the stars. Everything that you're going through, no matter your problems and all of these contrasts and all these lessons that you've constantly been learning this year, it's like, in a year from now or in 10 years from now, what you're worrying about is it actually going to matter. And the Empress, it's like you're building, you're nurturing something new. Something new is like it's bubbling up inside you. You know, you're preparing for like the next cycle. Trust yourself. Don't forget the stars. I think that's probably the best way to say it. Never forget the stars. Always make your decisions from a place of love and know that whatever you're going through, ask other people for support. There are so many people that are going through the exact same thing as you right now. If you look at all of the YouTube videos, everyone's like moving house and people are like taking time away. A couple of weeks ago, there was two of my favorite um, astrology YouTubers, Lada from astrolada.com and Heather from Astrology with Heather. She's fabulous. Um, she's the one who I took her course on astrocartography, learning about where the flip do I move? Do we stay in Ireland? Do we go back to Australia? Where do we raise a family? Where are we going to unschool our kids? Like all of these decisions, it's like you're becoming the mother. You, you are, you're nurturing yourself. You're nurturing yourself in this new chapter. What do you need to have in your home, in your career, in your love life that makes you feel safe, loved, abundant? What do you need to do? Tune into yourself. All of the answers to everything that you have ever possibly ever dreamed of is deep within your soul. Look up at the stars. Know that your problems are just a tiny, tiny, tiny little chapter and that there is so much more to this life. Like we're just a tiny, we're just one planet in the solar system. Like when you think about that, one planet in the solar system, oh, it just, it just blows me away. But if you're struggling with this week and you're like, Mel, I have no idea how to tune into myself. I have no idea how to ask for help. Well, actually, if you're going to, if you need help, yeah, reach out to me. Hello. <laughs> I'm an international childhood trauma healer. I can help you if you're struggling. I specialize in childhood trauma. If you're struggling to break the cycle of abuse in your own family, Check out my free training because I'm going to show you how I've been able to do it, how my beautiful dream clients have been able to do it. And then you can transform your life because once you start cleaning up your vibration, then you can start to manifest your dream life. Otherwise, you're going to be stuck and stuck. It's going to be like having a record on, but it keeps skipping, you know, or a CD and it keeps skipping. I can show you how you can get 
through that and transform your pain into greatness. I've been able to do it. My beautiful dream clients have been able to do it. And we're no different to you. So if you're struggling and you need help, just click the link in the description or you can check the link on the end card. All right, my loves, before you leave, I just wanted to say two quick shout outs to these beautiful MK Love fam. First of all, love to welcome Michael to the MK Love fam. He has just joined us. The universe lined up a way for him to find my video last week, which I'm super grateful for. Michael, I just wanted to say thank you so much for being so vulnerable in the comments. And I loved that the video really helped to bring out some emotion with you and everything that you're going through is divinely orchestrated and i can't wait to see what else the universe has in store for you also to my beautiful beck who's been a long time mk love subscriber i just want to say massive congrats on manifesting your dream job holy flip and also sending you so much love to you and your future husband as you're getting married in september and i'm so glad that you love that i called you out in your bullshit too all that self-sabotaging behavior yeah. Anyways, thank you so much. And I truly appreciated the time that you took to comment on the video. Anyways, my love, thank you so flipping much for watching today. Wherever you are in the world, I want you to tell me in the comments below or in the live chat, wherever you are, let me know where you are in the world and what's one word that summarizes what you're feeling right now. What are you feeling for this week ahead? What's that one feeling I would love to hear from you I just kind of feel like just breathe just breathe this is just a little chapter don't forget the scars stars I love you so much and I will see you next week I love you I love you I love you goodbye <laughs>